Good morning, Sagittarius. This is Renee, and this will be your reading for December. In love, Spirit, what do we have for our Sagittarius for December for the love reading? Um, and now, if my readings resonate with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius? Soulmates. What is coming in for you, Sag? Soulmate energy in passe. So yeah, I feel like you're currently kind of struggling. I feel like you are, I feel like you're drawn to a person, but I feel like you're struggling to make any moves. Complacency. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're struggling to make moves, Sagittarius. But you're on the verge of a new discovery. You're ready to start something new. I think you just need to take that leap of faith, Sagittarius. What else do we have for Sagittarius? For December, for the love reading, what else do we have? Feeling the world, okay. Sag, I, I, I'm sensing that you're caring a lot. Uh, I feel like you're thinking about everybody else's needs, Sagittarius. I feel like you are taking on so much responsibility, so much burdens. And I feel like people are telling you stories that they're gonna give you help. But I feel like that those just come across as just words. I feel like it's coming across as just words for you. But Sagittarius, you are royal. You are a queen. You are a king. You need to put yourself first for once. And I feel like you don't do that very often. I feel like you put everyone else's needs before your own. At the very bottom, you have an oracle's gift. So I definitely feel like you need to gift yourself some type of pleasure in your life. It's time to give yourself a gift, Sagittarius. And let's see, what else? You know what? I want to take a angel card for you, Sagittarius. I'm feeling like I want to take you an angel card. What do the angels have to say to Sagittarius? In love for December. And I'm sorry, but my cats are like in full mode this morning. They're just all over the place. What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. We have your desired outcome will come. No, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and, and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Yeah, I feel like it's coming, Sagittarius. I feel like so many good things are coming to you. And we have spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and your intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Yes. Sometimes we have to ask our angels for help and guidance so that they will lead us down the right path. Uh, sometimes they'll give us relief from what it is that we're struggling with. And I feel like this is an opportune moment for you to ask your angels and your guides and your higher power, whatever it is you believe in, for help. Sagittarius. Yeah, you have the hermits. 
and you have the seven of wands so oh wait a minute there's a card underneath here okay you have the ace of swords as well so i feel like a new opportunity is going to come in for you you're going to hear some messages or i feel like something's going to come to you in your dreams you're going to receive the help that you need from your angels in your dreams that's going to come to you because you are the queen of pentacles sagittarius you are a queen what else do we have we have the six of swords i know you can hear them running behind me <laughs> and they're awful this morning okay well however but um let's get into this what else do we have for Sagittarius we have the nine of cups yes beautiful energy Sagittarius beautiful energy we have the queen of cups two queens and we have the ten of swords okay Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck you have the chariot so what you don't see is I see you moving out of this being overwhelmed, being um, burdened by whatever it is that you're being burdened by. And I feel like you're moving away from that situation. You're moving into better things in your life. I feel like your, your struggles are going to soon be over. That's how I'm feeling, Sagittarius. And now, see, you have the hermit here. You have the Hermit and the Seven of Wands. So I really feel like Spirit is letting you know to lower your guard. Stop being so defensive. Um, relying on other people to help you. Because sometimes, you know, other people just don't have the time. But I feel like you should... Take some time out for yourself. Take some time out for yourself to soul search, to see what it is you really want. And I feel like maybe if you're alone at the moment, maybe if you don't have a helpmate, maybe if um, someone isn't around you for you to lay your burdens on, I feel like that person, that person is coming in to provide you with the stability that you want. I feel like they're coming in with the resources that you need in order for you to make this breakthrough. And I feel like it's coming for you, Sagittarius. I feel like someone's coming in to offer you help in your situation. And it's going to cause you to become more happy, become more comfortable in your life because you'll be moving into a better situation. You'll be moving over here to this island um, where there's calmer waters, where there's less struggle. And that's what, I, what I'm feeling for you, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is going to bring in some kind of situation that's going to um, take away some of your burden. And I feel like what they're offering you is love and the end of your doubts and fears. I feel like your doubts and fears are what's being put to rest. That is what's coming to an end. You're no longer going to have those doubts and fears, um, Sagittarius. I feel like those are going to be taken care of for you. This person is going to come in and they are going to help you through this situation. Let's get some more clarity for Sagittarius. What else do we have for messages? Do we have a final outcome for Sagittarius, please? More messages for Sagittarius. Okay, yeah. The Ten of Wands. So, yeah, you know, spirit sees that you're carrying a lot of burdens and they want to go ahead and put an end to that situation. They want to lay rest the fear 
and the doubt that you have. Um, you're carrying a lot, Sag. You're carrying a lot. You're carrying everyone else's needs above your own. But like I said, news is coming in. Something is coming in to help you. That's exactly what this Eight of Wands is. That is your help coming through. And I feel like it's coming through quicker than you realize. Yeah, with this Page of Pentacles, I feel like someone's coming in to offer you some kind of breakthrough. They're coming in to offer you some kind of gesture of hope, of new love. And this may be a younger person, Sagittarius. You may be older than them. They may be younger than you, yes. And you have the Queen of Swords. So yeah, three queens now. Three queens now in this reading. So I feel like this is someone who is taking on these attributes of these queens. I feel like this queen, uh, the Queen of Swords, is going to provide you with stability, honesty. I believe that the person that's coming is going to have is going to make you self-sufficient they're going to help you help take care of you the queen of pentacles are she's here to heal and nurture you to provide you with with support the queen of cups is here to provide you with the resources and the love that you need. Um, also, the, the Queen of Pentacles is about resources as well. And take care of the domestic needs. So I feel like with this three queens, with this energy, I feel like this person has all the attributes that you need in order to feel more relief, to feel satisfied in the situation, to be taken care of to be provided for. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Any more messages for Sagittarius, please? Oh, two, okay. Well, we got the queen, we've got the, excuse me, I can't even speak today. We've got the Ace of Swords again, and we've got the Four of Cups. So, this is really wanting you to take notice of the situation. Take notice. Keep your eyes open for this opportunity to come through. Because the universe is want, not wanting you to miss this opportunity to keep your eyes open for this person who is going to be coming to you. Um, they may want you to really pay attention. Because I feel like this person is coming faster than, faster than you think. Um... They are coming in to, like a whirlwind is what I'm hearing. And I feel like this person is going to really change your perspective about a lot of things. They're going to totally change your perspective. Now, the, what I'm feeling is that this person may be a person that you view as really not your type. I feel like this person that's coming through is someone that's out of your ordinary. But I feel like this person is actually really extraordinary. This person is a, a good soul, is a nurturer, a provider. Um, I, I feel like the universe is letting you know to take notice. Take notice of this situation. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. So, I feel like I feel like there may be a few different people competing for your energy, Aquarius. I feel like that you may be the spotlight of the situation. I feel like you are very attractive at this time. You're very, 
very nurturing, very um, loving. But I feel like you... I don't really want to say lack of skills to deal with the situation because I know that you have all the skills that you need in order to get into this situation. But I'm feeling like you're out of practice. Maybe it's safe to say that. I feel like you're out of practice. Maybe you've not been dating for a while. Maybe you're just coming out of a divorce or maybe you lost your spouse in some way. But I feel like you're out of practice. Very interesting. In the comment section below, Sagittarius, please let me know if this resonates with you because it, it's very interesting that I would feel that. Okay, you ha also have the Knight of Swords. So, with the Knight of Swords, I feel like this is going to be a person who just sweeps you off of your feet. I feel like this person really knows how to communicate. They really know how to use their words. And that makes them very attractive to you. And I also feel like with the Knight of Swords, I also feel like this whole situation is going to be a life changer for you. I feel like this whole situation is actually what you've been waiting for for a very long time. At the bottom of the deck, you have the hangman. So, because I know that you've sacrificed a lot, Sagittarius. I know that you have all the wisdom that you need to look at this situation. And maybe also look from another perspective. Because like I said, I feel, I really feel like this person is out of the ordinary for you it's not someone that you would normally be attracted to it's not someone who you would normally take notice of but the universe is really wanting you to notice this person hmm very interesting very interesting let's take a look and see what Sagittarius needs to do in order to get through any challenges they'll face during this time. Um, what can Sagittarius do in order to get through these challenges? Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, I feel like when you get into when when this person approaches you, I feel like this situation, I feel like you you kind of fear the situation because it's out of your it's out of your normal. It's out of your comfort zone. Um so I feel like you are very fearful of where this leads to. You also have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, you know what? Spirit wants you to go ahead and take a risk. They want you to go ahead and see where this leads you. They want you to risk it. Take a leap of faith, says Sagittarius. Take a leap of faith. And we have purpose. I know I am here, excuse me, I cannot read today. I know what I am here to do. Yes, yeah, spirit, spirit is letting you know. And I, I really feel like um, you're going to get answers that you need from your dreams. I feel like you're going to dream of something. And, <clears throat> and it's going to totally resonate with what you're dealing with. And I feel like the answers that you're longing for are going to come from that dream. You also have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. And I do so 
without judgment. Yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. Exactly what I've been saying right through here. Don't judge a book by the cover, Sagittarius. Like I said, I believe that this person that's coming is not your ordinary person, but this person is extraordinary. Believe it or not. Yes, ma'am or sir. Okay, that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Now, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Um, and many blessings to you, Sagittarius. Love and light.